Hey YouTube, it's Brother Mark here. I hope you're well and good. Um, just a short video this morning, uh, and one much like yesterday, in that it's to do with a, a throwaway comment, uh, a thing that uh, certain teachers, preachers, and um, and people say with regards to who we are in relationship to the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, I hear this phrase quite a bit, um, and typically among sort of um, lordship salvationists, um, sort of re reformed theology, and, and it's a phrase that I find very uncomfortable. And I find it uncomfortable because you don't find it in scripture, so naturally that's going to be the outcome of that. But it's this term about being a slave of Christ, slaves of Christ, and uh, and, and angling our relationship in that way. And just for reference, and you can do this as well because this is what you should do, the word slave or any variant of slave only appears twice in scripture, just twice. And yet, you know, people can make a comment like this about our relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, that, that we're slaves to him. And um, you know, it bothers me a lot, actually. But what we do here um, as a term is a bond servant or, or a servant generally now that I have no problem with because that appears in scripture and a bond servant and my American brethren will probably understand this more than than anyone here in the UK or Europe. But uh, when you talk about bail bonds or uh, bond bond agents and so on, a bond has a value. You know, when you look at scripture talking about redeeming the purchased possession being purchased by his blood, you know, you see that we have a value. And a slave, brethren, doesn't love his master. A slave is, is a slave. He has no free will and uh, he toils and works and lives in fear. And that's not our relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. So, you know, the reason I wanted to record this video, I heard this again recently, just a few few days back, I think a week or so ago from a channel that I keep an eye on from time to time. And I watch other channels and just just you know, sporadically watch what they say um, to see, um, you know, what the latest sort of fad is, the latest doctrine, the latest thing is. And I heard this. And again, it's one of these throwaway comments. Like I mentioned on the video that I uploaded yesterday, it's one of these very dangerous throwaway comments. And I'm sure some of you that will comment here or or, or drop an email, perhaps, will have other insights into it. But I, I again, I see the more malicious, subtle undertones of this statement, you know, that, that we have no free will, that we uh, are compelled, uh, you know, the, uh, the underwriting sort of emotion is fear, you know, of the one that we serve, you know, but we're, we're servants to the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, there's a statement where he says to his disciples that he doesn't call them servants anymore, but friends. And where's our joy and salvation as a slave? I'm sure if you uh, time travel back to, uh, you know, the US and talk to a slave there, they won't tell you that they love their master. And they certainly won't be happy with the arrangement that they're living, you know, being born into slavery and so on. And but it's again, it's this, you know, you can see elements of this, for example, in the segregation teaching, the, the kind of um, the promotion of the word. Um, and, and even the promotion of the practice for some of these guys. And it's really weird. Like I said, I can see, you know, other elements to, to why this is being used and, and why people uh, state this phrase. But we are not slaves of Christ, not, not in the slightest. And you know why? Because it's not in the scripture. And if it's not in the scripture, I reject it. And it's really that simple. And, you know, when people make these comments and they kind of it's almost like they're paraphrasing or trying to give examples or, you know, and they, 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 they put it in that kind of context. And, and that's the danger again. Whenever you preach anything, whenever you teach anything is if you start paraphrasing and sometimes it, it's useful and it's, it's even helpful at times. But you have to exercise so much caution. And when you make a comment like that, uh, much like I was talking about. Uh, you know, in the previous video about the Lord showing you something, when you make a comment like that, there's there's far more danger in what's being said than I think these people realise. And I think some people don't really realise, again, much like the last video, that what they're saying actually has quite dangerous implications. 
Some people are just naive. Some people, again, they just parrot it because they've heard it somewhere. Someone else has said it. They've read it in a book somewhere, not in the Bible, of course. And they just parrot and repeat it. But they don't understand the the consequences of a statement. And, and they're quite significant consequences, brethren. So, you know, this is what I wanted to sort of talk about again, just briefly today. Short video. I've heard it before. But this is why on this channel, as you go back through, you know, what I've put out here, I constantly point towards the scriptures and, and we have to run absolutely everything through, even the throwaway comments. And you have to be cautious who you follow, what you read, you know, who you listen to, what you listen to. You've got to be so, so careful. And again, it's not that you can't read a book. You can't uh, listen to a channel or anything, but you've just got to exercise such caution, uh, including, you know, if you've come across somebody who's who's made a mistake, that that's fine. People make mistakes. People say things they shouldn't say. Uh, they slip up and so on. And you could probably find that in dozens of my videos where I've said something perhaps it's a little, you know, a little bit off, not quite right or whatever. That's different from, you know, um, pushing just blatant false doctrine or, or saying something that's, that's completely wrong. You know, so yes, you know, we, we need a little bit of grace there, of course. And uh, there are teachers and people out there that, that are really trying to do well, that are trying to edify the body. And, you know, they make a mistake here and there. That's fine. But, you know, when you make a, a comment like that, when you talk about being slaves of Christ, that's that's beyond alarming. That's beyond slipping up. And as I said, I, I see something a bit more in the background with that and, and a bit more concerning. So, you know, second video uh, about this kind of thing. Exercise caution, brethren, run everything through the scripture, reject anything that's not in there. Have a little bit of grace here and there, um, but watch out for teachers who are just completely naive, who um, are novices as well, that, that really shouldn't be where they are. Because a lot of people will appoint themselves into the position and, and think that they're just fully equipped to do that. And really what they're doing most of the time is parroting what someone else has said. You know, and if you're really led of the Lord to be in ministry, it will be immediately obvious, you know. And if the Lord's hand is off you, that will be obvious as well. And uh, this is why I think some people get caught in, in a bit of a mess, because they will say, for example, the Lord showed me something to give them some sort of credibility. And then they'll say things like, you know, uh, what I've just mentioned here, they'll throw in a comment that really they could have only have gotten from elsewhere because you can't get it from the scripture. You know, this is the challenge, right, brethren? Take a look at scripture. See if you can find anything related to us being slaves of Christ. And you have to remember the word slave is not synonymous with servant or bond servant. It isn't. Why? Because it's a different word. As I said, if you tr time travel back, you will not find people in slavery in, in America or, or elsewhere being called bond servants. The, the, two, the two terms are utterly different. You know, there's a, a bond has a value, as I said, you know, you might um, probably a more modern term would be an indentured servant. Um, you know, they're not the same as being a slave. And as I said, you only see it twice in the scripture. So why use a word that you only see twice over a word that, you know, like, as I said, bond, bondsman, bondswoman, you know, bond servant and so on appears, I think, a couple of hundred times overall. I can't remember the exact number, but it's a lot more than than slave. And this is why I see when someone says this word that I see something much darker, much more subtle, much more sinister behind that. And my only hope is that when people say that they're just simply uh, naive and don't really realise the consequence of what they're saying. But again, to kind of, you know, finish off this video, always run what you say through scripture, always. And if it's not there, reject it. You know, try to correct your speech. And that's what I've done. I mean, if you go through my videos since the beginning here, you'll see that I, I've changed the way that I talk because over time I've, I've learned these things in Scripture, better, more appropriate ways to talk, to communicate uh, doctrine. And I'm not an expert, but I've been on that journey and that's what I've been recording here since the beginning. This journey of, of study and kind of trying to examine what people are saying and so on um, and just sharing that as I go and not perfectly, but certainly trying uh, to achieve that. And we should always strive for that, strive for mastery, it talks about. And that's what, you know, what I exhort here. So anyway, I'll close off the video because otherwise I'll 
go around in circles and I, I don't mean to do that to you guys but uh, I'd be intrigued you know again with your uh, comments here in the last video there were some really insightful things that were said um, and I'm sure some of you will see something else perhaps I haven't noticed on this but uh, and please do share it for the edification of everyone else but uh, yeah drop a comment feel free to email me if you like biblebelieveruk at gmail.com again I'd be really intrigued with your thoughts on this particular topic thank you for watching god bless and godspeed